Daggers have been drawn in the opposition MDC Alliance MDCA with party president Douglas Mwenzora's deputy, Elias Mansouri and chairperson Morgan Kamichi set to contest for the presidency in an elective Congress set for June. Currently, Mwenzora's approval ratings within his party are at an all-time low following his party's devastating defeat in the March 26 by-elections. The party failed to win a single seat despite wresting the MDCA name from its former leader Nelson Chamisa. The MDC will hold its ordinary Congress at the end of June 2022. At this Congress the top leadership of the party will be democratically elected through a secret ballot in terms of the party constitution by delegates from wards, districts and provinces, Mwenzora said in a statement yesterday. The ordinary Congress will also deal with any proposed amendments to the party constitution as well as key policy issues to guide the party in the execution of its mandate which is to bring democratic change in Zimbabwe. Insiders in the MDCA standing committee said a bruising battle was looming between the three top party leaders. Mitsuri believes he can revive the party after it was humiliated during the march by elections. He boasts that he was the only organizing secretary in the history of the MDC to win a majority in parliament and the presidency in 2008. On the other hand, Kamichi believes that he is the custodian of Morgan Svangerai's legacy, the source said. Mitsuri could neither confirm nor deny that he was going to contest for the party presidency at the Congress. When the time is ripe, I will make my decision known. I will not be led by people to rush my announcement. I will tell the whole world what I will have decided. I am not a dead man, Mitsuri said. Kamichi was not picking up calls yesterday. However, Kamichi has been on the forefront questioning Mwenzora's leadership qualities. In an apparent attack on Mwenzora recently, after he suspended senior party members, Kamichi wrote a damning statement castigating the party leader for acting arbitrarily. No individual had the right to suspend any member without following due processes. There is reported harassment of some members of the party. Arbitrary decisions should not be left to party members to carry out willy-nilly, but if there is need to adhere to disciplinary measures, all members are enjoined to follow the due process of disciplinary proceedings, Kamichi said in the state.